spike strike organizer for cabinet does not make sense. Bathroom cabinet does not make sense. Adjustable desk does not make sense. Kitchen utensil cells set does not make sense. Not having the right keywords in your Amazon listing can make or break your Amazon FBA business. The best strategy to set up your Amazon listing and your initial PPC campaigns is to extract the keywords from your competitors who have been already selling for quite some time. In this video, we are going to do just that. And in the future videos, we will use the set of keywords that we extract in this video to set up our initial primary for PPC campaigns and optimize our listing by putting the right keywords in the right spot in order of priority. So if you want to get more organic sales and reduce your PPC costs, consider subscribing to the channel so that you can be notified whenever the new video comes out and do turn on the notification bell so that you can catch it before anybody else does. Now let's get to it and extract the keywords from our dear competitors. All right, folks, so for this experiment, we are going to be using Cerebro, which is a reverse ASIN lookup tool by Helium 10, which basically means that it will help us extract the keywords out of the competitors who are already doing well on Amazon. If you haven't yet subscribed to Helium 10, consider using the code ROS50 to get a 50% discount and a $75 credit to book a consultation call with me in the future. Check out the description for more details. All right, so the first step in this process is to understand our most primary broad keyword, which means the keyword that is relevant to our product and also gets a lot of search volume. In the previous video, which was PPC Masterclass part one and part two, we were using draw divider as our example product. And we are going to be continuing using that. For that product, the most primary keyword that we understood was draw dividers. So that's where we are going to be starting. That is the starting point of this tutorial. All right, so all we are going to be doing right now is type in draw dividers ensure that your location is set to USA or whichever marketplace you're looking at so that you get to see the right results on the screen. If your location is incorrect, you will not be able to do this correctly and you would entirely mess your end process up. So I don't want any anybody of you to do that. So ensure that you have your location correct. You have your primary keyword identified and you search for that keyword in the Amazon search bar. All you have to do after this is to basically open up Helium 10 Chrome extension, which is X-Ray and let the data populate over here. And this is important. So, you know, pay attention clearly. It's not as simple as looking at the data right now on the screen. What we need to do over here is basically sort this by revenue. And uh, now you would be able to see the listings which are pulling in the maximum amount of money on Amazon for the keyword drawer divider or through the keyword drawer divider if you want me to be technically correct. Okay, but the thing that is most important over here is that the first listing, as you can see, it is not the same drawer divider that we are trying to list ourselves for. Therefore, in the very beginning, when we are just starting out, when we are just trying to index our product on Amazon, when we are just setting up our initial PPC campaigns, we want to be laser focused. And therefore, we want to be only looking at the listings which are very much identical to our own product, right? Because we want to target the same customer who's looking for similar products and convince them to buy our product by coming in front of them. That is the whole purpose. So therefore, uh, what you need to do over here is hover over these listings and find the ones which are exactly similar to your product okay of course the brand is going to be different but you can still find the ones which are similar for example this is the first product that is a very similar product to our product although it may be different uh, i will put up the product that we are using on the screen right now if it's not already there but yeah so you can see that this is a drawer divider of a similar design that we are trying to sell to the market but but i can see that they have differentiated themselves very well and that is something that you need to consider uh you know when you're trying to source and launch a product on amazon you need to figure out how can you differentiate and i believe this seller just did just that but anyways let's not digress so i would what i would do is i would copy this and i would save this uh, uh, on an Excel sheet or somewhere so that we can use these uh, ASINs to extract our keywords in the next step. 
All right, so let's keep moving forward. Let's see if we can find more listings which are very similar. So, you know, this one and this one is exactly the same. The only difference is that one of the listings is coming through an ad and the other one is coming over there organically, which is a great thing because now this listing, this one listing is getting two spots on page one. And that is the best case scenario for anybody who's trying to rank for a certain keyword. If you have already ranked yourself organically on a certain keyword, don't stop running your ads because if you do run your ads it'll be just like this you'll be able to have two positions on that one page instead of one positions therefore you will be able to get more real estate therefore you will be able to make more sales through that particular keyword right and i hope that makes sense to you and i hope you understand what is the strategy that this seller is particularly applying right now all right let's keep moving forward I'm actually going to go over and find the the wooden ones, which is exactly similar to our product. So, you know, maybe I would actually go ahead and save this. And this is exactly our example product. So we can consider that one as well. While we are doing our research, I would save this. I would even save this as well all right all right all right guys. so we have almost six listings saved of the of those six listings one of them is our own example product right now but yeah so what happened over here was as you can see all of the listings that we have recently saved have more than upwards of forty thousand dollars in monthly revenue which means that they're doing quite well all right but i also like to look at something else which i skipped over uh, I also like to look at this graph, right? What we need to do is we need to only pick the listings, which certainly have a lot of revenue, but they are also consistently selling for quite some time. We don't want to pick a listing which has been, you know, launched in the near, near past. And they're here because they are running a lot of campaigns. We want to be only picking the listings which are organically now here and they're consistently selling throughout the year and or, or more, right? So if you can see, if you click over these graph options, you will see that most of these listings that we just picked, they are consistently selling for quite some time, which means that they are having a decent average sales per day. They're, you know, consistently making a lot of revenue, pulling in a lot of money and definitely making a lot of profit. Therefore, we can deem themselves or these listings as successful listings for our product and therefore we are picking them so whenever you do something whenever you you know go through a certain step always ask yourselves why are you doing it if you're asking this question to somebody and they, that person is not able to explain you that you need to ask them why there has to be logic and reason behind this so you know i wouldn't really pick honestly i wouldn't really pick the listings just based on revenue i would look at their sales graph over here which will help me understand what's happening is it really selling or is it just selling right now? If you see of, you know, on this listing, this uh, is a little different than our product, but this has been selling consistently, but it has also been, you know, dropping consistently. So, you know, this, this is still a good listing in my opinion, but it's just that it might be going out of stock or they might be changing their price frequently. All right, then we have our listings uh, ready right now. Let's go to helium 10 and extract our keywords that we want to be ranked for all right hey so i hope you're enjoying this video i hope you're liking this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button it really helps me every time i see a thumbs up on this video it will give me a signal that you did find value and i should be creating more such direct no bullshit videos going forward so i will be keeping a watch on the number of likes and subscribes i get from this video as a signal that the information that i put out is useful and helpful to amazing people like yourself all right so we are in our helium 10 software if you don't have access to it use the coupon code in the description and also get a 75 dollars credit if you intend to choose that read the description for more details but right now what you need to do is hover over to keyword research and click on cerebro which is the tool we, we will be using for this particular exercise and step all we need to do right now is copy our ASINs and put it here in the search bar, right? Make sure that they're comma separated because if it's not comma separated, then Helium 10 is not going to understand what are you trying to input, right? So that's all you need to do. Uh, when you do this, 
particularly for in the very beginning you need to ensure that you select exact asin match because what we are trying to do right now is only extract the keywords which these listings are indexed for so after that all you have to do is click on get keywords and and let it do its magic all right folks so as you can see that helium 10 has popped up about 14278 keywords in front of us for the six listings that we provided to cerebro all right what this means is that these six listings are in some manner or the other ranked or indexed for these 14,000 keywords. But uh, of course, we cannot evaluate all of these 14,000 keywords efficiently and we do need to prioritize. Therefore, we are going to be doing certain steps. Pay attention. The first thing that I like to do is basically set my minimum search volume to 500, which basically will filter down this list of 14,000 keywords and only show me the keywords which are searched for or on Amazon at least 500 times a month. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this filter first. So as you can see now, our list has dropped from 14,000 to 1,674. If we were to manually look at this list of 1,674 keywords, we can potentially do that in a couple of hours. Therefore, this is going to be a lot more efficient. Now you can use these keywords uh, in your Amazon FBA listing or in your PPC campaigns. The thing that I like to do personally is to basically go over these keywords one by one and select the ones which make sense for the product that we want to you know, work towards. So in our example, we are using draw dividers. So if you go over this manually from top to bottom after obviously you know, sorting this by search volume, you will notice that certain keywords don't make sense for your product. For example, if you were to look at the second keyword, which definitely has a lot of search volume, but it is dressers for bedroom. It is not relevant to our product. Therefore, it is as good as ignoring it. So we can actually go ahead and just do it right here. We can hit cross and remove it from our list so that uh, we are only looking at or we end up with a list of keywords which are high in volume and relevant to our product which we are trying to you know sell on Amazon. The second thing that you can do over here is also look at the keywords or filter this list down further and only look at the keywords for which these six ASINs are ranked for on page one. All right. And that is super interesting. Basically what what will happen now is that you will be able to figure out the keywords for which these six listings are ranked for on page one. To do that, what you need to do here is go to this filter called position rank and put 27 over here. The reason why we put 27 or 25 or 29 is because that is the number of listings that pop up on page one approximately most of the times. So let's go ahead and apply this filter and see how many keywords do we get. All right, so now we have we are down by about 500 keywords, but now we are at still 1100 keywords, which uh, are extracted from these listings or from these ASINs for which you are get definitely getting 500 plus searches per month. And these listings are ranked for on page one. I hope that made sense. All right, so what you can do after this is basically either do it, either filter your list down or pick keywords from this list manually right here, or you can even export this as an Excel file and do it on your PC directly because that is usually much more convenient. And the last thing that I usually prefer doing is also to further narrow down this list and look at the keywords which for which these products are organically ranking for, right? And for that, all you need to do is hover over to match type select organic and hit apply once again i'm pretty sure this list is going to be trimmed down further all right now we are left with 976 sharp keywords which get 500 plus searches per month and uh, these listings are ranked for on page one organically all right so that is the best case scenario so this is basically the list that i will manually go over one by one for each search term and extract the keywords which make sense for my particular product because you will definitely get a lot of keywords over here which do not make sense for your listing. All right, so let's take a moment and do that for a bit so that you understand how is it supposed to be done. 
All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are in our Google Sheets. All I did was basically download the Excel file from Cerebro and paste all of the information in Google Sheets because it's a lot more convenient and it is always like you can save this and not lose the file, right? So over here, what you need to do now is basically look at these keywords manually and just highlight the ones which make sense for your product. For example, if you look at drawer organizer, which is the first keyword, I would actually sorry, desk organizer, I would actually not highlight this because uh, that does not make sense for our product. We are actually selling a drawer organizer. Therefore, the second keyword on this list is something that we should be looking at. Spice rack is again something that we can ignore. Closet organizer is something that is a bit relevant to our product, but not directly relevant. We can choose to ignore it right now because we only want laser focused, highly relevant keywords. Kitchen organization, you can still pick because these straw dividers can be used in kitchen. Orders placed definitely doesn't make sense for our product. Spice rack organizer for cabinet does not make sense. Bathroom cabinet does not make sense. Adjustable desk does not make sense. Kitchen utensil cells set does not make sense. Drawer dividers definitely makes sense. And drawer organizer definitely makes sense. Chest of drawers does not make sense. Spice organizer, office organization, kitchen utensils, shelves for bedroom, toolbox organizer. You can pick that because this is something that people can use for a toolbox as well. Desk drawer organizer, definitely something that makes sense. Kitchen organizer, you can still pick it because I have evaluated this uh, on Amazon. I've looked at the results for kitchen organizer on Amazon and they seem to have draw divider, dividers in the result. So whenever you are not certain about a certain keyword, all you have to do is copy this and go to amazon.com and paste it right over here and hit enter. What you need to do next is visually look at this list. If it has the product that you're trying to sell, you may want to pick that keyword. But as you can see in this scenario, none of the products on the screen are a draw divider, right? Therefore, based on that information, we are going to ignore that word, right? So uh, this is not rocket science. You can actually break it down in a much longer process. It's just that I understand what Amazon would be showing from years of my experience for these keywords and therefore I'm ignoring them so quickly, right? So this is exactly what you need to do to curate a list of keywords from our exercise, from our steps so that you end up with a very curated, highly curated list of keywords which are high in search volume, relevant to your product, uh, for which the competitor listings are ranked for on page one organically. All right, so I hope you follow these steps and I hope you discover your own highly curated list of keywords that you should be using in your listing and in your PPC campaigns. All right, folks, so that was all for this video. In this video, we learned how do we identify our top five competitors? How do we use Cerebro, the reverse ASIN lookup tool within Helium 10 to extract the keywords that those competitors are ranking for? How do we understand which keywords are the page one keywords for these top five competitors? And how do we understand which keywords are the keywords for which these five competitors are organically ranking at this point of time. If you enjoyed this video, do consider checking out our PPC masterclass part one and part two. And in the coming weeks, I will be posting a video about listing optimization, where we will use these keywords and extract more keywords to put in our listing so that we can improve our organic sales and reduce our PPC costs. Therefore, if you want to save a ton of money, do consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified whenever those videos go live. Until then, guys, stay true to the process, learn, but more importantly, act on the information that you're consuming.